back with Bobby and JG Radio. We're having everything Scott's inspections this show. We have the great Scott Emerson here. Um, so, Scott, you are an anomaly here in the city of San Antonio because you are the Thanks. only commercial inspector in town. The only one. Well, the only well, one. I'm sure that other people attempted. The only one I know of. Yeah. No, I'm sure that other people attempted, but you're the only one that I know that really does what they're supposed to be doing during a commercial inspection. You know, uh, so many people don't understand commercial inspections, and, and uh, it's one of those things where uh, we take pride in knowing that we, we're taking care of people, sure. right? Uh, we, we, we know the standards, we know, you know, a commercial, we've done everything from 150,000 square foot warehouse to, mm-hmm. uh, you know, 300 unit apartment complexes. And they'll call you outside of San Antonio. Like I know you were in Laredo recently yep. to do like a Walmart and you were doing other buildings. Yeah. We did the Walmart distribution center down there. Half yeah. mile long. That was a lot of exercise. A half a mile of Half building. a mile long. Did they give you a segue to tramp? Tra- uh, I ordered a golf cart actually. <laughs> Didn't yeah. pick it up, but no. I could drive around it. Wow. Um, but, you know, it's it's still just, you know, the nice thing about commercial is that the clients want to know big ticket items. Sure. They're not worried about, you know. Loose the, toilets and yeah. fogged windows. And, you know, they want to know, are they going to drop 100000 in their parking lot or, mm-hmm. you know, 100000 on a roof system. Sure. Um, or AC. Yep. Yep. Yeah, just big ticket stuff. So, you know, we, we, th- last week we had like four jobs and it ranged from, uh, about an eight unit strip center uh, to a small uh, residential house that was converted to a law office several right. times and they all they're all different sure well because everything in commercial I mean there's no comparable properties yep. almost ever yeah do you feel that you that these inspections are happening happening as much as they should um, they are but uh, commercial brokers are having a hard time finding out who to do them mm. uh, there's some Not after this show well there's some engineering firms that will tackle the the big buildings, mm-hmm. you know, the 10 and 20 story buildings, uh, big strip centers, um, smaller ones, they don't know what to do, how to get them done. Uh, home inspectors, un- unfortunately, sometimes do them. And they, they, if they, you've got to know what you're doing on a commercial job. Yeah. I mean, I, I could imagine if you don't get the right information out, it's going to be. And you guys do multi family homes too, because I know you've done like several apartment complexes. When, when yep. you told us was haunted, by the way, I yes. remember. Yep. Spite. I won't, I think it's. I won't, even me- I won't even mention the name, but yeah, that yeah. was, uh, that was I, I, think, I think that was our largest, <laughs> I think that was our largest job uh, ever. How many units? Uh, we did the whole complex twice. Um, that the, sounds complex. The original uh, owner walked after day three. Wow. And then um, GE Capital Health Florida picked it up and Did you get scared switch. away? Um, it was the ghost that they saw. I the, knew the, it. Because <laughs> that used to be... Um, uh, what was that called? That was where the circus got abandoned, and uh, that hilltop was. I actually started that rumor. No, is it still going? <laughs> no, it's still there. It yes, it is. Um, Bobby gets shot out of cannons. Did <laughs> um, yeah, you take the cannon in the stomach? You ever seen that? Uh, no, but we could do that in the show. Um, we have just yeah. Never mind. Um, so, so on the commercial property, is a little different though. Like, do you do you think the the actual buyer should show up during the inspection? Normally they don't, no. Yeah, because, no. I mean, usually they're clients from out of state. Because, yeah, the report's going to, you know, unlike a home inspection, the, the front of the report, it's a summary. Right. And those are the big ticket items, and they can read all through all of the details. Um, but uh, the summary pretty much tells them what they're getting into. Um, and it, if if someone is investing in the commercial, they've they've done it before. Sure. Uh, it's a first-time commercial buyer that's a little bit, uh, takes a little bit of training. Yeah. Um, but... Um, you know, they really, you have to know what components are, what you can't do. Uh, you know, you have to have, for us, we have to have a, a crew that we can call. Like, if, and we don't do sprinkler systems. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, not irrigation, but overhead sprinklers. Right. So we got to call someone for that. You know, how many risers are there? We don't do elevators. Um, and then we don't do some of the uh, heavy industrial equipment. So you just have to know who to call. So you have part, people you partner up with depending on the, the yep. job. Yeah. So. And so, so let's say I'm, I'm buying a commercial property. What's the process of, of is, is it just, because, you know, like residential is very blanketed. Yeah. It, well, in residential, you have a five-day option period. Right. In commercial, you ha- usually have like a 30-day. 90-day feasibility. Uh, yeah. Usually. Yeah. And so, you know, besides just the, what we call the property condition assessment. Right. Uh, you do, uh, you know, uh, phase one or phase two, which is the environmental aspect. Right. And so you may start with a phase one Mm -hmm. and it may have to turn into a phase two, which the difference being phase one is just more uh, record searching uh, history of the property. 
And if there's something that turns up to where you may have to do some core samples or soil samples, uh, that would step it up to the phase two. And um, for the most part, when you're doing it, is it like a off the menu? I want this checked out, this checked out, this yeah, checked out. Yeah, we interview the client and get an idea of what they need. It's a little bit more custom than the residential. Yeah, and side. what are they going to do with the property? Are they going to gut it? Right. Or are they, or is, are they just buying it? And let's say all the tenants are, you know, their leases are such that they're responsible for all the HVAC. They couldn't care less about it. Right. It's tenant responsibility. Sure. So we, we adjust it as needed and, and price it accordingly. Sure. If you're a commercial investor or buyer or even a commercial broker, you should get a hold of Scott's Inspections at 210-349-9228. Again, it's 210-349-9228. Check them out at www.scottsinspections.com. <laughs>